Formula One is the ultimate racing experience. Mind-bending acceleration and violent braking, along with cornering speeds which defy belief. In Fernando Alonso and the Vodafone McLaren Mercedes MP422, you have one of the most formidable partnerships in Formula One. But here on the legendary Silverstone Grand Prix circuit, they're about to face a very tough challenge indeed. A one-lap staggered start race against three of the fastest Mercedes-Benz around today and piloted by a trio of top-class drivers all looking for a famous Formula One scout. No doubt about it, these really will test the pace and power of the ultimate race car and driver. Our first car on the grid is the brand new Mercedes-Benz C-Class 350. And at the wheel is Susie Stoddart, DTM driver for Mercedes-Benz AMG. Next up is the CLK 63 Black Series, inspired by the official Formula One safety car. It's being driven by Bernd Mylander, the man charged with driving the safety car at all Formula One races. Our third car is the AMG DTM Touring Car, the most successful car in DTM history. The man at the controls is Jamie Green, another DTM racer for AMG Mercedes. Finally, the car they've all got to beat, the Vodafone McLaren Mercedes MP422. Driven, of course, by Fernando Alonso, Spain's first ever Formula One world champion. The race will take place around the spectacularly fast full Grand Prix circuit, which is 3.2 miles in length. This special event will start from the Mobile One Bridge on the approach to the Abbey Chicane. All of the usual nerves down on the start line then, pre-race. The drivers are all fireproof, suited and booted, and crash helmets on. Alonso stepping into the car. It's so tight inside there, you need people to help you do up the seatbelts. It's tailored like a Savile Row suit. Susie Stoddart's getting ready to leave the line. Foot on the brake and on the throttle. She's got the rear wheel spinning for maximum getaway. Now, this car would be extremely fast on the road, but in the wide spaces of Silverstone, she's going to have to get it on its door handles. Well, she's certainly doing that as they're still fitting Alonso in the car and Bernd Mylander is getting ready for the launch. They release him 19 seconds after the C-Class of Stoddard. Now, this car would scare you silly on the road absolutely flat out. Such is the power and grip that it has. Mylander then into the Abbey chicane across the Rumble Strip, taking the racing line, nailing that V8 for all it's worth. 20 seconds later, it's Jamie Green's turn in the DTM racing car. Alonso checks it out, and he's away. But we've got a surprise for him halfway around the lap. First, though, check out these graphics. Green is already heading into Bridge Corner, and Susie Stoddart in the road car is on the pit straight. Fernando Alonso is beginning to catch the DTM car already. Priory and towards Brooklyn. Green gives him space, and through goes the Formula One car. Okay, Fernando, I want you to box this lap, box this lap. Please confirm. Okay, okay. So it's a pit stop then for Alonso. He's got to negotiate the pit lane on the speed limiter and take on fuel and tyres. Meanwhile, Jamie Green continues on track. Here we are approaching the Vodafone McLaren Mercedes pit crew. Fuel goes in, tyres off. Supreme teamwork from McLaren. Eight seconds, they drop the jacks and off he goes. Susie Stoddart is into Beckett's already. This is the CLK 63. And let's take a look. Stoddart on hanger straight. Mylander closing in behind her. Alonso still coming out of the pit lane. He's got a lot of work to do. Under the Mobile One Bridge, down the hanger straight goes Stoddart. And Alonso is into Beckett. The car changing direction absolutely beautifully. Onto the hanger straight for him. Once again, he can see the DTM car of Jamie Green. 190 miles an hour down the hangar straight for the magnificent stone corner. You barely break. The helicopter flies overhead. We're still doing 150 miles an hour. And we continue to accelerate hard. A nervous look from Stoddart in the lead with one corner to go. Alonso reads the action ahead. He knows that he'll need all the power and grip of his Formula One car to sweep around the outside if he wants to win this race. And there he goes, a victory which truly shows the pace of Formula One.
Well done, Commando. Great job. Great job. Thank you, Harry. Thank you very much. Confirmation of that great job. Alonso takes the win in a time of 1 minute 53 seconds. 7 seconds quicker than the DTM racer. 27 seconds better than the CLK. And a full 48 seconds faster than the road-going C-Class. And, of course, that's including a pit stop. When you finish and, and you, you overtake the cars in the last few metres of the, of the race, you know, they seem that they have a problem in their cars because you arrive more or less 270, 300 kilometers an hour. They are running 120, so it's more or less what we achieve in, in first gear in a Formula One car. So for sure it's a big, big speed difference and uh, you know, it's, it's quite special to overtake those cars. I don't know what they think when they see me on the mirror. To see those four cars all together and to see the pace of each car and how, how early I had to leave just to match the Formula One car around the circuit. And the sheer fact that the Formula One car can do a pit stop and still beat us all, that was pretty amazing. It's unbelievable to see the speed difference on a race track. How quick is a Formula One car? How quick is a DTM car? I was really surprised to drive this car and to see the speed. But in the mirror, if you see the Formula One car, it's great and it was a really, really nice day. When you're driving your car, you're on the ultimate limit and then the Formula One car overtakes you and you just cannot believe that that is possible, that, that, that a car can achieve that, that cornering speed and have that much difference and that much more pace than, than the car you're driving because you're giving it everything you've got. And I'm sure Susie and Bernd in front of me are doing the same. Um, so it is, you know, it's incredible. You just can't believe that that is possible. The Formula 1 car is extremely fast, there is no doubt about this, but for sure, I think on, on TV, uh, you know, sometimes you miss a little bit of, of the speed of the cars, and, uh, you know, a good way to, to show everybody how quick it's a Formula 1 car is, is with this type of comparison, because you can see your, your normal car that you drive every day is nearly one minute uh, slower than, than a Formula 1 car, only in four kilometers.